Let's see how we can evaluate this double integral by using polar coordinates. And the reason that you may want to try that is because we see we have the x squared plus y squared, so that's a big hint. But the issue right here is that if you try to integrate cosine of x squared plus y squared in the y world, we are not going to get an elementary answer. So don't do that. So let's see how we can use polar to help us out. First, remember x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Then the differential dy dx or dx dy, doesn't matter, equals r dr d theta. A lot of people forget about this r, so please remember it. And to see why, I will have a video in the description for you. Then, in the y world, we are going to go from 0 to square root of 1 minus x squared. Let's take a look at the picture real quick. This is y equals 0. Square root of 1 minus x squared, it's a semicircle, like this. And the radius is 1, so we have 1 here and negative 1 here. Then in the x world, we go from negative 1 to 1, so we want the whole thing, right? From here to here. Now, in the polar world, we care about two things. R, just think about it as a distance, and theta, which is the angle. So, R, you start with the origin, you have to go out to here. And the radius, it's always going to be 1, right? Each every time you go out, is 1, like, like this. So R, you know, ranges from 0 to 1. Next, we will have to rotate from here all the way to here. So that is from 0 to pi. And now that looks like a pokeball. Theta goes from 0 to pi. And now we can take this to the polar world. Let's say we have the theta on the outside, going from 0 to pi. R on the inside, going from 0 to 1. And then here we have cosine. x squared plus y squared is the r squared. dy dx, here we have the r. And then dr d theta. Okay. Now, we can just do this by using a regular u substitution. So I would put u equal to r squared, and then du is equal to 2r dr. Notice we have r dr already. We need a 2. So let's multiply this by 2. And then I will put down a 1 half on the very outside, like that, so that they cancel out. So we are going to have the 1 half all the way in the front, integral going from 0 to pi, and then Notice, this is r going from 0 to r going to 1, right? And then if you change that to u, when you put 0 in here, 0 squared is 0, and then 1 squared is 1, so u going from 0 to 1 as well. And then here we just have cosine of u, and then this portion is just du, and then we have d theta. And now let's just do this inside out. For this integral on the inside, integrating cosine u, we get positive sine u. All right? And then we will just have to go from 0 to 1. So that will give us sine 1 and then minus sine 0. But sine 0 is 0, so this right here doesn't matter. So the inside is just sine 1. So here we will have the 1 half integrating from 0 to pi. And then on the inside, it's just going to give us sine of 1. And then we have the d theta here. And now to integrate this, because this is just a constant, we just have to multiply by theta, and then plugging pi, plugging 0. So it looks like this. Sine of 1 times theta, and then we go from 0 to pi. Putting pi here, well, just sine 1 times pi, and then putting 0, that doesn't matter, just 0. So all in all, we will have 1 half, and uh, I will just write it as, because of the pi, so I'll put a pi right here, and then times the sine 1. Yay, and that will do it. And hopefully this video helps. If you want to see more examples with double integrals, 
check that link in the description. That's it.